Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing wonderful today. Thank you so much for stopping by to join me. Today I'd like to talk to you about beauty brushes, all our makeup brushes that we use and the different ones that we offer and how you use them for each thing that you might want to do with your beauty routine. So what I wanted to feature first is we have this Mary Kay case right here. I'm also going to be showing you how to clean these brushes because it's super important to keep the bacteria off of them. And mine are due to be cleaned. I usually clean them once a week. So I figured this is a perfect video to do this week to show you how I do mine. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. There are two sides to it. And when you order this product, you will get all the brushes that I have in here. So I will tell you which each one is. So for the first one, this one is going to be the all over brush. So let's just go through this one by one. And what will we use our all over brush for? Well, it's pretty self-explanatory in itself. You can see the bristles are pretty wide. Now this is really good for layering the entire eye area that you want to do. You could also use this as a little corner buffer, but we do have a better product for that as well. So this is one of the first ones that are included. The second brush that we have is the eye crease brush. And if you take note to this one, you can see the angle here. And I've talked about this in some of my videos before. That angle is really going to help you get into the side area of your eyes. And it's actually how I did my eye look today where I layered some blue on. And then I'm going to show you another brush for what I did for the bottom. But you can see this makes it really easy to get into the crease area. And it's a little bit thinner, not quite as many bristles on it. Okay, the next one that I really like as well that's included, and this is our eye smudger brush. And this can be used for so many things. You can do it with your highlighter. You can do it to make, like if you're using your eyeshadow as eyeliner, you can use that to smudge it in. You can come down around the eyes. Um, there are lots of different possibilities. Even if you have like a little pimple on your face that you want to cover up and use a little bit of concealer, this is really great for that too. You just put a little bit on and then lightly rub it in so that it, that it um, covers that whole area for you. So then that was the first three that come in our pack. And then the next one I know I've talked about before, and this is our all over fluffy brush. Guys, look how big this brush is. It is pretty amazing. I love this thing. This is for a good powder um, brush and it goes all over and it feels so wonderful on your face. It's just so relaxing. So this is one of my favorites. And then the other brush that comes along in this packet is going to be our cheek, cheek brush. <laughs> Saying brush this many times today is challenging for me for some reason. Um, this is also used as a highlighter. Now you can also see how it is angled there as well. So you're going to want to use this side to put your blush on. And then if you see the angle here, this pointed area is where you can use to put a little extra highlighter. And you know, you can put highlighters on your cheeks, chin, nose, head area. There's all different places that you can add a little bit of highlighter. So this is going to be the basic set. I can go ahead and slide how easily it is to just slide everything right back into the pockets. And it is easy, but when you have one hand, it's a little tricky. So those are those two back in there. And then put these other ones in as well so you can see the whole look again. And as you see, there is also room in here so that you can add more brushes so you don't have to just have one brush. And I love that it is a material that you can wipe down and clean and it zips up real easy and goes right in your makeup bag or travel bag if you're going to go out and about. So what I did is I highlighted in the book and you can find this in the next to the last page of our books most of the time. Um, here is where the entire kit is and I highlighted what was in it. And again, that's the all over brush, the eye crease brush, the eye smudger brush, the all over powder brush and the cheek brush. So these are all gonna be included in. So next with the orange highlights, I'm gonna talk a little bit about those brushes. Now this little case here, 
was a promotion um, that we had last year, which I absolutely loved and grabbed it up when I saw it because I actually, when I'm home, I layer all my brushes out so they're really easy to pluck out and get them as I need it and I love them. So additional brushes that we offer is going to be our newest one, which is our eye blending brush. And you can see how that's nice and fluffy on the top. And this is it does exactly what it says. You're just going to use it to pull all the colors together that you have on your eye. So this is pretty amazing. I also like to use it if I want to dab on a little extra highlighter during the day. I'll put this in there and then just add a little bit in the areas that I would like to touch up. So another one that we have, this one is for your eyebrow and your eyeliner. And I'll show you the difference. So the top here is a spoolie. And as you can see, again, mine is due to be clean. So I'm going to show you that today. And then that is just for like taming your eyebrows. Um, I really like these. And another thing you can do, a little trick that I found, if you are doing your makeup and your mascara happens to get somewhere else on your eye, if you let it dry completely instead of trying to wipe it off right when it happens, you can actually take the spoolie and gently just rub that area the littlest bit and it'll bring it right off. It's pretty amazing. So then the other part of this is the eyeliner part and you can see how that is also angled and it's very thin. And that is how I use to do my eyes today down underneath. You just angle it and pull through a couple times and blend it. So this is a really nice tool to have in your makeup bag as well. And this is sold separately from the kit that I just showed you. I'll put that in there. And then this is another one of my favorite ones. And this is our cream color. Now this can be for creamy eyeshadows, but this one can be basically anything. I mean, you can actually use that as eyeliner. You can use it as a little blender. It is also really good for applying your concealer, especially around the eye and nose area, it goes in there. It's really nice. And if you want it to, you could even use it for a lipstick if you'd like. Um, drawing all attention to my window. <laughs> That's my cat Nubby. Um, and she wanted to come and hang with me today and didn't want to leave the window because she had to see what was going on in the backyard. So she's my guest today. Whether or not she comes completely out of there, I don't know. Bless you. <laughs> so back to the brushes. And we have the foundation brushes, which mine is, of course, very well loved. As you can see, um, it is definitely due to clean it because some of that foundation gets down in there um, and my CC cream. So this is also on a slight slant, as you can see. And that just helps it form to the face better. And like I said, you can pat it on or you can also rub it on all over. And this is a really great brush to have. Also sold separately from this set. And then this one is not a brush, of course, but I still want it to feature it. And this is our mask made out of silicone. And it is just as important to clean this as well, especially if you're masking regularly, be sure to add this to your collection to clean. So one of the first things that I wanna show you is we do have a brush cleaner. I use this after each use of my brushes. Um, and this just gives a general clean. And I will just give you an example here. Now you could use um, a paper towel that would work as well, but I actually recommend a washcloth. And the reason I do is because it just helps lift some of that dirt out a little bit better. So it's really easy and this stuff lasts for a long time. You're just gonna squirt it, a few squirts right on top of your brush and then take your rag and go ahead and swiggle it around like this with each one of your brushes and it just helps get off some of that makeup and dirt that is coming out of the brush there. So that is really important to do like on a daily basis or if you would let somebody borrow your um, one of your brushes or something like that, be sure to clean it. It's really important so that you don't spread germs. So please don't skip this step. Um, the next thing that I'm going to show you is how to actually clean the brushes on a weekly basis. Now, I just found this pretty little pink bowl that I like. I'm gonna show you in a minute. We're gonna fill that up with some warm water. And I also take some Dawn dishwashing detergent. And I'm gonna show you what we do with that. So then I just wanted to show you again, this is the cleaner that we have. Um, this is the eyebrow and eyeliner brush that I featured. The other extra is the eye blending brush. 
We also have the cream color, the foundation, and then the one that I do not have on hand right now is the blending brush, which basically does the same thing as the foundation. Uh, it's just a different type of coverage. We also have the beauty blender available, which I featured that before. It's just really what kind of preference you want on putting a foundation on your face. So those are available as well. So let's see how we get our um, brushes cleaned and I will show you that next. So the first thing you want to do is get your warm water ready with the Dawn dish detergent. And once you have that in your little bowl, I like to go ahead and leave it in the sink just in case there's any splashovers from the brushes. And then you're going to want to put each of your brushes in there and swirl them around really good. You can also go over the edges with your fingers. I'm going to take each one and go over this really well. And you want to touch the bottom of the bowl also because it helps to bring some of that dirt and debris off of your brushes. And as you can see, as I'm moving along from the foundation and all the colors that I have, my water is already turning a lovely shade of brown. <laughs> that is not a shade that I recommend putting on any of your makeup looks. <laughs> So, but it shows you that it actually works. Dawn is one of my favorite things for getting out all that yicky stuff. Um, this is the spoily brush and the eyeliner brush. It's a little thinner, so I wanted to do those separately. And then I'm just going to go ahead and take the foundation brush, which is also another one that gets pretty dirty, and make sure I swish that one around really good. Make sure it gets all the stuff out, and as you see, the water is getting little dirtier with that one because um, that's all the foundation colors and then the all over brush and as you see it does splash out of the sink a little bit so it's always a good idea to leave it in there just so you don't cause a big mess all over the place and then I go along with my mask brush as well then just go ahead and get rid of all that nasty water of course and then I also like to go over it and do another rinse and just take my fingers and go through each one and try to get out some of the extra makeup or dirt that has been left behind that may or may not have come out while in the bowl. And then I also take my rag um, and I, as you can see, not all the color came out of that. So that just lets me know that I need to go ahead and rinse that again. And so you just rinse it a couple more times until you put it on the washcloth or towel, whichever you may be using. And you see that one still had a lot in there. So I go back under it again, maybe use your finger a little bit if you need to. And then once it comes out clear, then you're going to want to lay it on your towel so that it dries out. And it, you know, it's slightly time consuming, but it only takes a few moments. And it's really important to keep your skin clean and your brushes clean. It'll also help prevent any breakouts on your face or any other skin problems that you could have. Um, my eye brushes are always ones that I'm really big about keeping clean. And if your spot gets too dirty like mine just did, you just go ahead, fold it over, and do the other side. This is the big brush. I think I did get most of the one out on here. As you see, there's not much coming out on the washcloth. So I'm just going to lay that out as well. And it just takes like a couple hours to let all this dry fully. And if you're not in a big hurry or anything, a day is fine. Or you could even do it before you go to bed so they're ready for you in the morning. Or you could have backup brushes on hand also, just in case they don't fully dry. But most of the time they do dry within a few hours. And then this is the foundation brush, so I just want to make sure I get this one really good. And then go ahead and dry that one off as well. And then just lay them out on your towel. Make sure they're spaced out evenly enough so that the airflow can get to all of them. And like I said, this takes just a couple hours and then they should be all set and ready to go. And then as they're drying, you just want to make sure you fluff it up a little bit during the process so that the bristles come back out. You could hang them upside down also, but it's not really necessary. I find that mine actually end up fluffing out just right. 
Thank you so much for joining me today to watch my video. If you have any questions at all, remember you can always leave me a comment below. I'd be more than happy to help you out. My website information along with my business information is also listed below if you'd like to follow me on other social media platforms. So thank you again so much for watching. If you enjoy it, please click like and also subscribe. I'd love to have you come back and share more videos with me as I grow this channel. You guys have an absolutely amazing day.